Hi, I'm Michelle. Today's Takumiur Innovator has developed this. A roof tile made out of cement. But conventional cement tiles had a shortcoming in which their paint did not last long and would peel off by 10 years, like this one. But the roof tile that Takumi developed stays beautiful for more than 30 years. How did he do it? Let's go and find out. We visited a roof tile manufacturer in Ube City in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Hello, I'm Michelle. Hello, I'm Sasoga. Today's Takumi or innovator is Ryosuke Sasaoka. He has been making cement roof tiles for 38 years. Almost half of all roof tiles used in Japan until the 1970s were cement roof tiles. But there were problems such as the color fading or paint peeling off after 10 years. Eventually, these were no longer used and replaced by clay roof tiles. The Takumi was formerly an engineer at a leading electronics manufacturer. But his cement roof tile manufacturing family business was facing a major financial crisis. He returned home to get the company back on its feet again. This is a 15-year-old conventional cement tile painted in green. The paint is peeling off here and there. On the other hand, this is a cement tile painted in black using the Takumi's technique. 20 years has passed, but its paint has barely peeled. Why hasn't the coated paint on the Takumi's roof tile peeled off? He showed us how his paint is applied. When the cement tiles come out from underneath, they are already covered in black paint. That's funny. I can't see any paint coming out, but yet the color of the roof tiles is changing. How is it done? And how is it different from the conventional method? You'll understand once you touch inside with this. Whoa! What was that? There was a big spark. We apply paint using static electricity. What does that mean? This is the principle behind the Takumi's paint. The paint is charged with positive electricity and the cement roof tile serves as grounding. For that reason, when the paint is sprayed, the paint particles are attracted to the cement tile by the power of electricity. Normally, when paint is sprayed, paint that misses the roof tile is lost. But by using static electricity, paint can be applied without any loss. Furthermore, the paint is positively charged, so when sprayed, the droplets repel against each other, creating a fine mist. That means paint can be applied without color spots. This kind of painting method already existed for many years. So what is different with his method? The paint is water-based instead of oil-based. Normally, molecules of water-based paint are bigger than that of oil-based paint. So if you paint well, the paint layer can become five times thicker. Therefore, it can be made stronger and highly durable. But when water-based paint is charged, the whole machine would also be charged. The electricity would be lost or workers could be electrocuted if they weren't careful. So the Takumi thought of cutting the electrical current. This is the device made for that purpose. The paint enters from the top and comes out as droplets. Then the paint droplets come down in intervals and gather around here. They are insulated during that moment. It took almost five years for the Takumi to have the paint fall like raindrops and make it work as an insulator. This is how paint was applied efficiently with high durability. Cement roof tiling developed with this technique is now in high demand from China, 
Europe and the rest of the world. We asked the Takumi about what led to the development of this painting technique. When I think of what I want to do, I investigate it thoroughly and search for the most essential technology that is needed. Then, I look into the electrical, scientific, and mechanical issues, as well as many other various technologies, to find out the key point that I need to focus on and address the problems. So Takumi has also developed another method to improve the paint's durability. That involved mixing an additive into the paint that would help it adhere better to the cement tile. He said he tried 430 patents over a period of seven years in order to find the best combination. I could really sense how devoted the Takumi was to reviving his family's cement tile business. He never gave up. Since hardly any toxic gases are given off with water-based paint, it's less harmful to the human body and the environment. I'm sure that the Takumi's technology could be applied to other products, so I hope that it will become more widely known in the future. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Mizushima, today we learned a lot about the mystery of memory. How would you wrap up the program? Humankind has finally been able to explain the mysteries of where our memories are stored and how they are handled. By combining it with big data analysis and research in other fields, we'll be able to understand the true nature of memory even better. Thank you, Dr. Mizushima. And thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all next time on Science View.